Hola, everybody. What's up? It's your host with the most. That's right, Amelia is more. It is all about HBO presenting the 10th anniversary of the Latin Film Festival. Now, we've been here at Highland Ballroom for none other than the premiere of Rhythm, which is a new liquor that all of you drinkers out there need to check out. Plus, we're also going to catch up with Lee Carr. You know what to do. Stay where the trendset is chill and get your daily dose. We'll be right back. back that's right now we're here with the coordinator of the whole event which is actually super fabulous it's none other than suits welcome How you doing? I'm welcome good, good. welcome welcome now suits talk to us about rhythm what rhythm is all about i mean the red bottle is really fly right rhythm is basically it's like your new alcohol energy drink it has caffeine taurine and it's the only liquor in the world that has the hangover cure meaning okay. you can drink it all day long all night and you won't wake up with a headache how well is it being received? Oh, it's being received real well. One of the most famous drinks that's being received real well is the red carpet drink. It's actually rhythm with pineapple juice and orange juice. So people, they keep going right back. It's like addictive. Now, you know, I always like to let our viewers know about trendsetters such as yourself and different opportunities of employment. You're the brand manager for that. Talk a little bit about what your responsibilities are. Well, my responsibility with my company, Double O Entertainment, is handling rhythms all marketing and branding is creating a pull to get people actually to come and grab rhythm. Well, there you have it. Now, if anybody wanted to go cop this new rhythm, yeah. they want to dance to the rhythm, oh, yeah. where do they go? What do they do? You go to www.drinkrhythm.com. Now, it's all about the illusion, the fantasy, and rhythm. And we have Elliot Zimmett, who's going to be doing some fabulous tricks today with rhythm, correct? That's what they say, yeah, we're gonna make some bottles appear and disappear, we're gonna cure some hangovers later on, so that's not an illusion though. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's for real. That's actually for real with rhythm, that, that's a byproduct of having an energy drink in your liquor. I'm now what got you into being an illusionist? Uh, I saw a magician when I was nine years old, I was blown away and uh, I wasn't really good at anything else, but magic, I had a real passion for. And when you have a love for something, you go all the way. Absolutely. We talk about that all the time. And, you know, being a trendsetter, it's all about your passion. And then making some profit off of the passion. Yeah. Uh, we, we like money. <laughs> we like money. We like rhythm. And we like making things disappear. Now, is there a website or anything like that that our viewers who want to get into what you do can, yeah, they can follow yeah. up? Check out ElliotZimit.com. It's a whole new freshness, breed of magic. You like music. You like being fresh. You like illusions. Check it out. It's cool. Don't go anywhere. Keep it right here so you can get your illusionist daily dose. Now, this gentleman here, you need to know it's all about Trek to the Holy Land. Thank you very much, Ed Harris, for coming. He's the executive director of a new film. Talk a little bit about this documentary, this film, and what it was like to film it. Okay, um, Trek to the Holy Land is basically um, a story that chronicles Reverend Sharpton's trip to meet Yasser Arafat and Shimon Perez. Uh, right after September 11th, we were trying to get a more grassroots feel, perspective, on the Israeli conflict. Um, it has, the ramifications of the conflict, of course, have now reached America. Yes. So we wanted to figure out if there was something that Reverend Sharpton can do. Um, he's brought together the Latino and African American community um, through civil rights. And um, we were trying to see if there was any sort of cohesion or any sort of, uh, I guess, um, hope to bring the Palestinians and the Israeli grassroots folk together. So what kind of action could you ask our viewers to do as far as, as it relates to this movie and making sure that the powers that be understand that movies like this need to be supported? Um, I think the first thing I would tell your viewers is um, to stay encouraged and to actually love more. Love right. yourself more, love humanity more, and um, there's, there are solutions. Um, a lot of times the politicians are the ones that keep the grassroots folks from finding resolutions. So sometimes, you know, it has to happen outside of the political realm. What did this experience do for you as a creative person? And, and, and how has it, or if it has, influenced you on your next project? Um, Trek to the Holy Land is the third installment of a four-part series. And um, what it has done is it's shown me that if we get off the block, and go beyond our borders, then we start to find solutions and we start to find the commonalities in mankind. And um, I think that's going to influence everything I do from this point on. 
Is there an email, a website, or anything like that that our viewers can stay connected with you? Uh, yeah, um, you can check us out at adhere, that's A-D-H-E-R-E, media.net. If you go there, you'll see our organization's website, and um, there are plenty of links and stuff that you can kind of check out what we're working on. There it is. Your host at the most, Amelia is more giving you your activism. You have now been activated. <laughs> take action and take a trek to the Holy Land if you can. We're back. It's all about skin. Damon Dash is in the building. How are you today, Damon? I'm good. How you doing? Talk about this incredible film, uh, Skin. I mean, it's really hot. Yo, I, I, I'm, I was completely blown away. I, I'm, I'm, yo, Skin was ill. It's going to get, it's going to get an Oscar, I think. You know, I like to be. Uh, I like to know good things first, no so, so I'm gonna tell you, like, yeah, you know, I'm gonna tell you about skin. Like, you don't know about skin, you need to see that. No like, whatever I can do to help, that, that movie is important. Yeah. I was impressed on a lot of levels. You know, congratulations to you too, because you did that um, play on Broadway, and that was really hot. Are you gonna be doing more stuff on Broadway? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try. I always want to have our supporters support you, so what can they do to continue to keep the Damon Dash legacy going on forever? Wow. <laughs> I guess as long as people recognize good taste, I'll be all right.